The Gehring School Board is in the midst of their finalist interviews for their next superintendent for the district. KNEV.TV News starts right now. From your trusted source for news in western Nebraska and eastern Wyoming, this is KNEV.TV News. Presented by Platte Valley Companies, premier provider of financial services. Hello, I'm Ryan Murphy. This is KNEV.TV News, powered by Platte Valley Companies. Thanks for joining me. In our top story, the Gearing School Board is nearly complete with interviewing their four finalists for district superintendent. ESU 13 Alternative Education Director George Schlotthauer was the first to go through the process on Monday. And yesterday, Dr. Nicole Reagan, the Director of Recruitment and Special Program Supervisor for Lincoln Public Schools, was interviewed. GPS Board President B.J. Peters says the board is seeking someone who will be very community-minded. Somebody that uh, focuses on kids and student achievement, but at the same time, uh, there are some financial challenges going on in education right now, in this, especially in the state of Nebraska. So we need somebody that understands school finance and is able to, uh, to maintain the strengths that we have here in Gearing. Finalists are getting a tour of the community, meeting with various stakeholder groups, and then have a public interview with the board each evening at the Gearing Civic Center. Today, Alliance Public Schools Superintendent Dr. Troy Unzucker was interviewed, followed on Thursday by Dr. Vernon Fisher, Superintendent at Gibbon Public Schools. A new superintendent is expected to be announced this month that would step into the role July 1st of 2021. Well, the Scotch Bluff City Council continues its final round interviews with the three finalists for their city manager. On Tuesday, Wyoming native Seth Sorensen, who has been serving as city administrator in Pecos, Texas, was the second finalist interviewed. Sorensen says his background in engineering could help with city infrastructure and planning, and says Nebraska is an ideal location for him on where he wants to be in his career. Uh, so it is very near my parents, which they retired to the, the Black Hills in South Dakota, and so I'm, I'm looking for an opportunity to be closer to them. Uh, also, it's about the, the right size of what I've geared my career towards uh, for population. Uh, and the stability uh, that the city's had of two city managers over the last 22 years was very attractive to me. Today, finalist number three, Scott McClure of Canby, Oregon, interviewed for the position. And the Scottsdale City Council will meet later this week to discuss all three candidates and possibly extend a job offer to one of the three finalists. Well, coming up after the break, a cold, blustery December day here in the Panhandle. The boy will tell you what's in store for the rest of the week during his midweek forecast. At Platte Valley Bank, we realize the way people want to bank in the future may be different than it has been. As comfort levels and desires vary by person, banking may be different for some, yet not for others. We offer the best of both worlds, a traditional banking experience with our friendly tellers and an online or mobile banking option with features that you can personalize and utilize anytime, anywhere you go. So you can bank how you want, when you want, and from where you want to. Platte Valley Bank. For the past 44 years, Platte Valley Vacuum and Sewing has been serving the Wyobrasca area. That's quite a long time. At Platte Valley Vacuum and Sewing, you'll find quality sewing machines, quilting and embroidery machines, even sergers from name brands such as Foth and Baby Lock, both known for their well-made machinery. Keep in mind you'll receive one-on-one -on -one lessons with your machine purchase. Platte Valley Vacuum and Sew also offers a fine selection of 100% cotton quilting fabrics and a great selection of threads and notions to assist you in most any quilting or embroidery project you might have. For all your sewing machine quilting needs, stop by Platte Valley Vacuum and Sew, downtown Scotts Bluff. This is KNEB.TV Weather from the KNEB Storm Center, your trusted source for weather. Well, it's going to be quiet across the area tonight. Clear skies, temperatures fall down into the teens, and winds are going to decrease a little bit more. Much better day today than what it was yesterday. It's going to be chilly tonight, though. Sunny and mild for the next seven days. No rain or snow in sight. Changes maybe coming late next week. But until then, it is going to be a pretty boring stretch of weather here. 47 yesterday for a high after a morning low of 21. 
nothing in the rain gauge. New month underway. We're going to close in on seven inches below normal here in the next couple of days for the year. 20s and 30s across the area right now. It is quiet uh, and clear, but uh, not very warm. Again, temperatures primarily in the 20s. 22 there in Sydney, one of the coldest readings. 30 in both Torrington and Valentine. Winds, thankfully, are light under 10 miles an hour, but wind chill still in the teens to low 20s. That wind chill 10 right now in Sydney. Let's take a look at uh, the bus stop forecast tomorrow. It's going to be sunny and clear on your way to school with temps in the teens and sunny on the way home with temperatures of 50 degrees here tomorrow. Future cast for tonight, any uh, clouds off to the east will quickly move off, and it is going to be abundantly clear across the area. Nothing happening weather-wise, and quite chilly. Lows of tonight going to be primarily in the teens. Could see a couple of upper single digits sneak in there, but we'll keep them in the teens tonight for lows for most of us. For tomorrow, it is going to be sunny and quiet. Not much going on, not a lot of wind. Temperatures are going to warm up a little bit tomorrow as well. The first of several days where temps are going to head back above normal and as you can see, it is very quiet across the area. There's our highs into the upper 40s and low 50s, and we'll add more to that as we go on uh, through the rest of the work week and through the weekend. No rain or snow coming over the next uh, 36 hours. It is going to be quiet. Tonight, clear skies, lows down around 13, light winds at 5 to 10. Tomorrow, sunny, warmer, highs at 51, and then we're just going to add to that, be closer to 60 on Friday mid-50s through the weekend, upper 50s to 60 degrees for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week. Dry conditions, very little, if any, chance of precip and above normal temps. Find out what convenient really means at the Western Travel Terminal. Start with our great selection of food and drinks from for real milkshakes and fresh brewed coffee to snacks and hot food. Next, check out our beer and spirits with their everyday low prices. Finally, let us work for you with our full service gas station and automatic truck and car wash. All this can be found at 822 South Beltline in Scotts Bluff. Western Travel Terminal, your convenient shopping, restaurant and full service gas leader. The Verizon family is full of frowns because they're spending too much for their unlimited data and phones, while the Viero family is all smiles because they're getting four lines of unlimited data with two free Apple iPhone SE for mom and dad and two free LG K31 smartphones for the kids, all for just $100 a month. They're saving so much, they're able to get Fido. Find out how you can too at Viero.com or your nearest Viero store. Viero Wireless, keeping you connected. Holiday Recycling Tips. The holidays bring wrapping paper, boxes, and trees. Remember, when done with these items, recycle them. Wrapping paper can be collected and recycled in one of the city's recycling bins. Boxes can be collapsed and stored to use later or recycled. Finally, your old Christmas tree can be dropped off at this location. This holiday season, give thanks and a start to a healthier new year. Me at Tri-City Stormwater. back. Local and state governmental leaders were on hand virtually for the annual pre-legislative breakfast sponsored by the Scottsbluff-Garing United Chamber of Commerce this morning. 
Due to the virus pandemic and current restrictions in place, this year's in-person event was canceled and replaced with a Zoom meeting. During today's program, Governor Pete Ricketts delivered pre-recorded remarks, and then District 48 Senator John Stinner of Gehring then discussed some of the key issues the state legislature will be facing when they reconvene next month. I know that there's uh, the prison situation that will be debated. <clears throat> I will take a look, hard look at the COVID situation um, and how that's impacting our states and what we could do relative to public health plays a huge part and the, the next has paid, played a huge part and will continue to pay, play a huge part in the distribution of the vaccine. The program was hosted by the Chamber's Government Affairs Committee and as always aims to present an overview of what has been accomplished this past year and what to expect the next session. Well, Unified Command announcing yesterday that 17 additional COVID-related deaths in the Panhandle are being reported. Boxbeat County deaths include a woman in her 50s and two males in their 70s, a Dawes County man in his 90s and a woman over 100. In Cheyenne County, there were three women, one in her 40s, one in her 80s, and one in her 90s, and a Cheyenne County man in his 80s. In Kimball County, a man in his 60s, and two Scottsdale County women, one in her 60s and one in her 80s, as well as five Scottsbluff County men, two in their 50s, two in their 70s, and one in his 80s. This brings the Panhandle's death total to 67. And the Nebraska Capitol will not be hosting all of its usual holiday celebrations this year to try to prevent the spread of the coronavirus. The annual tuba and horn concerts normally scheduled in December will not be held this year. The Capitol tree lighting ceremony has been canceled this year as well. Instead, the office of the Capitol Commission says it plans to illuminate two large fir trees at the base of the Capitol's outdoor North Plaza. The Capitol will remain open for tours except for Christmas and New Year's Day. The commission may limit tour group sizes to 10 people. Well, straight ahead, we'll head on over to the Panhandle Humane Society to meet their featured head of the week. You'll meet Uno right after this. Hey, I've been hanging out here a long time outside of Panhandle Auto Group, and boy, do they have a great selection of vehicles. And their sales team is great to work with, and you can also get your vehicle serviced in detail, too. Welcome to Panhandle Auto. This is Sam Serta, General Sales Manager. It has been our pleasure to serve you for the past two years. At Panhandle Auto, we have a seat for everybody. Whether you need a vehicle for yourself, a son or daughter, our team will go above and beyond to satisfy your needs and even your dreams. So again, thank you from Sam Serta, General Sales Manager at Panhandle Auto, for allowing us to earn your business. At Panhandle Auto, it's time for something different. The holidays are a time to connect with family, with friends, with each other. After a busy year, the holidays are a perfect time for laughing together, playing together, talking together, and celebrating together. Spend time this holiday season connecting with the people that mean the world to you, and let us take care of the connectivity. Home buying is filled with decisions. Neighborhood, floor plan, fenced yard. Make one choice that's easy. Start with FNBO first. We'll guide you home. Home buying is filled with decisions. Square feet, fixer upper, room to grow. Make one choice that's easy. Start with FNBO first. We'll guide you home. Well, we got Uno here. She's um, a cat. Uh, she pet of the week because uh, she's very playful with everybody, friendly. She loves to cuddle. And um, when I first got into adoption on her part, she right away just climbed on me. And ever since then, she's always on my shoulder every morning. Her adoption is $75. It includes all her shots, rabies, uh, Microchipped and everything. <clears throat> That's what I was trying to think. <laughs> but she is our pet of the week. She's friendly, and nice going, and she loves to be around people. Um, a nice, caring family with kids. She loves kids. Um, like I said, she's friendly, loves to play, and be around people. 
Plus, whoever adopts Uno will also receive a $25 Murdoch's gift card to start spoiling her right away. Well, so to come, your midweek community calendar and several Scottsdale educators honored this week. KDB.TV News will be back right after this. Small business, you're the engine that makes our communities thrive. That's why we're with you, providing more for you, so you can focus on what matters most. Small business, you're the engine that makes our communities thrive. That's why we're with you, providing more for you, so you can earn more, save more, and do more. Welcome to Kelly's, home of the Valley's best selection of wine, spirits, and beer. Whether you're brand loyal to the tried and true brew or really enjoy trying something different and new, Kelly's has something for everyone. Family owned and operated and right on your way on West 27th Street in Scotts Bluff. Kelly's Liquor. If you can't find it at Kelly's, it's not worth drinking. When it comes to helping local folks with the loans and financial advice they need, we don't horse around. Our only goal is to help you and your family achieve your financial goals with the right loans and savings products. So if you want to bank with people that care about you and your financial needs, stop by or give us a call. First State Bank. We're big on you. Member FDIC. Online at fsbcentral.com. Well, let's take a peek at what's happening on your midweek community calendar. That's a look at today's community calendar brought to you by First State Bank, honoring those who give back. Nominate your community champion at fsbcentral.com. Hi, I'm Michelle Perkins of Remax Regency. After branching out, I've returned home to my roots, to the land from which I came and my family has held for five generations. Michelle truly understands what home means and treats you like family as she guides you through the buying and selling process. 
bringing the latest pricing tools that are not currently being used in this area to sell your home at the highest price in the least amount of time, and to ensure that you do not overpay when buying. So just give me a call, kick back, remax, and settle down. At Platte Valley Investment Center, we believe in personalized planning for your financial goals. As your retirement income partners, our concern for your success combined with resources from Raymond James can help you make confident decisions for your financial future. Our team of financial advisors will help you make your money work just as hard as you did to earn it. After all, our goal is to help you reach your financial goals. Call me, Jody Rosiska, or Kevin Figg, financial advisors, to set up your free, no obligation, pre-retirement review. And finally tonight, the Scottsdale Public Schools Foundation presented three Excellence in Education Awards to local education professionals this week. Bluffs Middle School 7th grade teacher Ashley Dillman, District After School Program Coordinator Crystal Johnson, and Lincoln Heights Pause Program Paraeducators Dallas Liptak, Jonathan Shadig, Melissa Ariano, and Nancy Espino were honored during surprise presentations Monday and Tuesday. The SPBS Foundation Awards were created back in 2019 to recognize outstanding Scottsdale Public Schools employees that go above and beyond their expected duties. All SBPS employees are eligible to be nominated, and nominations are accepted from parents, students, staff, and community members. Well, that does it for us this time. Thank you so much for tuning in. Stay safe out there. We'll see you here next time.